Welcome back to another day of my life, another vlog, and we're doing it as a weekend edition on a Sunday. And today we're gonna be having an open house and I wanna take you all along with me and getting prepped for it, set up for it, some tips and tricks that I use during the open house to help pick up prospective new clients and all of that jazz. Because it is Sunday, I had a slower start to the morning and so I'm also in workout clothes, but it's 9.45 right now. And first stop this morning is I'm gonna to head to the office. I need to print out a couple things for the open house. So let's head on to the office and get some stuff printed. First thing that I'm doing is I need to make new open house signs. We're doing a time adjustment today, two to four. I've just found with this particular home, we get more traction within those two hours than if it's spread out across the board. Okay, so that's how I make the address printouts for my open house signs. This is what we're going to be putting out later pre-open house. The last thing I need to print are updated MLS sheets. So we recently did a price reduction of $150,000. Um, so I need the MLS sheet to update the, or to reflect the new updated price and also the current days on market. So we're going to go ahead and print those out. And if you didn't know, the MLS is basically the agent hub for all listing management. I will admit my open house signs are a little beat up. I'm having them for five years, so might be on the future agenda to get. rushing to the gym. I have time for maybe an hour max to hit a leg day. Um, so we're going to do it really quickly and then I'm going to rush home and get ready for this open house. Alright guys, it's currently 1.25. It's going to take me 15 minutes to get to my open house. It's going to give me 20 minutes to get ready. The open house starts at 2 and I am set to get there at 1.40. So I'm going to take you guys along and we're going to put out the sign, set up the house, set out all of the paperwork on the table, and I'll give you some inside tips on how to run an open house. Obviously for the last couple hours I had lunch, I got ready, and so and now we are currently on our way. because it is way too hot in here. Currently 153. We 
get everything set up in time. I'm so overheated right now. <laughs> so obviously one of the biggest goals when you're hosting an open house, whether it's your listing or not, obviously is to pick, pick up a prospective buyer, whether it's gonna be for this listing or a buyer in general that's unrepresented. The number one question that I get is, okay, well, how do you know if someone is unrepresented? It can be very awkward if you're trying to pry during the conversation and you find that if you're like, oh, are you working with an agent? That person tends to shut down um, and it's not very receptive because they're now in a mode where they're a little protective. They think that they're gonna be sold on something, uh, which is not the case. So my number one tactic is on my sign-in sheets, I have a section at the end called agent name. Um, and if they truly do have representation, they will typically immediately write down their agent or the brokerage that they're affiliated with. And that way, there's no weirdness, there's no pressure. I now know, okay, they're here to actually see the home. I'm gonna put on my sell the home brain versus sell the home and sell myself as a potential person to work with them in the future. I also will have at my open houses a copy of my home buyer's guide. Um, this just has a ton of information about the homebuy process, a lot of things that people don't commonly talk about, so I make this accessible. It's something of value for them to take home. And at the end, I have all my contact information, in again, in case if they need someone to represent them in the future. All right, guys, it's four o'clock. We just wrapped up. I'm going to close up the house, turn off all the lights, lock up the home and pick up my signs and head on home. And I have plans for dinner tonight. So that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the evening. Now, I will say that every person that I meet here that is unrepresented, I did meet a couple today. I will typically send them a text um, with a graphic with my information and something that says like, thank you for coming, my headshot, all of those things. I think it stands out a little bit more than just a standard text. And so hopefully that will start a conversation if they do need someone to help them kind of find their next steps and where to move next. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video.